The climate of the earth is changing and the best science assesses that these changes are mostly due to us. Managing the risk of climate change is about two things. Firstly, we can reduce the amount of greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere. Secondly, we can adapt to the changed environment that has occurred and the changes to the climate in the future. Adaptation is modifying the way we actually behave and do things in order to be more appropriate for the future climate. There is clear evidence for global warming over the past century, with the past decade being the warmest on record since 1850. Most of the observed global warming since the mid 20th century is very likely due to an increase in greenhouse gases from human activities such as land use change, agriculture and burning of fossil fuels. Greenhouse gas levels will continue to increase in the future. For Victoria, we expect an increase in temperature, decreases in rainfall, frosts and snow, and increases in heat waves, fires, droughts, floods and storm surges. These changes will have mostly negative impacts on a range of sectors such as water, agriculture, biodiversity, health and emergency services. To adapt to climate change, our whole community will need to make changes in the way we live day to day, as well as bigger changes in our health, public transport and emergency service systems, the way we design our cities and towns and our economy. While climate change will affect everyone, people living on low incomes and those who are disadvantaged will have less capacity to adapt. However, many of the changes that will help us adapt to climate change have other social and environmental benefits. Extreme heat affects everyone, but older people and people with disabilities and chronic illness are more at risk, especially when living in poor quality housing. As the effects of climate change worsen over time, we need to support communities on the front line to adapt, especially those who have limited resources to do so. Adapting to climate change means that humans, plants and animals will have to find new ways of living in their environment. Less water, more frequent bushfires and hotter summers will threaten the ecosystems that we all depend on. Some of our native plants and animals won't be able to adapt and damage to the environment will be irreversible. Others that are more resilient will move to a more suitable location and perhaps use different food sources. We will need to manage different threats. New weeds, pests and plant and animal diseases will challenge agriculture and our livestock enterprises. In Victoria, farmers have been adapting to climate change for some time. Irrigators have had to make the best out of the reduced water allocations that they've had from our stressed rivers and lakes. And in some areas, farmers have had to change from pasture production to growing crops. Adaptation to climate change means that we will all have to find different ways of doing things. We don't always know everything we'd like to know in order to manage the risk of climate change, but we have to act anyway. In most cases, you as individuals will be in the best position to assess what your options for adaptation really are. You may seek guidance from others who have experiences and exposures similar to your own. But in the end, you must set your own objectives for change. Humans are resilient, and we have in our hands the capacity to adapt to the challenges of climate change. Mm -hmm.